What do you have? I have a new RC to show you guys. It's an upgrade from the last. I've gone through around 30 different RCs before landing on this one. Well, let's inspect the heck out of this then. To me, this looks like a truggy, uh, yeah. a half truck, half buggy from in the old days. I would say it's about one eighth scale. Mm -hmm. This is incredibly complicated. This was not a kit. This was just your brainchild. So why don't you run me through a, a, like the front corner suspension, what the wheel is made out of and what the suspension is. Well, I can open it up too. Okay. Well, if I take this part out, and then if I take this part out, there you go. You can see the entire front in action. And if I just turn her on at the same time, I turn her on. Yep. So that's a battery box and the receiver. Yes, at the exact same time. And here's your transmitter. Yep, remote. Okay. But here is the steering working in all of its glory. And another cool thing is since I use ball joints, the steering still works even if the suspension is working. I'm very proud of myself. I am gushing on the inside. Thank you. <clears throat> it's very difficult to be quiet right now. I would like to comment on the fact that this normally would be where an engine would go mm -hmm. in a, a truck. Um, but instead, what people are looking at, if they don't know, is a servo. This mm -hmm. is a type of radio control servo that basically just turns. And it's turning your rack so nicely. Mm -hmm. Please show me one more time. Incredible. Can you, is it independent suspension? Like, can you move one side up while the other oh, yes. is down? Incredible. Independent suspension, and the front shocks are different from the back, but also, if I just find the right button here, yep, it's this one. So if I lift this side up, you can also see that if I use the steering, it still works just fine. And also, if I lift up the suspension, and steer works just fine. I, I've got to tell you guys that are watching that may not build Technics or Lego that having an independent moving suspension like that and steering is very complicated. To under power. It took me way too long. Now I want you to tell the 100% truth here. Did I help you with this? I mean, with inspiration wise, with some of your vehicles, 100%. But in the mechanical uh, aspect of it? It was yeah. all you. Yeah, it was me. Yeah! It was yes! Me. This is like the best Father's Day gift, and it's not even Father's Day. It Just was? to see you putting this together. Yeah. No, not to give it to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna fit this back on. Yeah, I couldn't really fit the uh, servo completely in there without uh, ruining the steering. It says Peugeot on the top. Can you tell me more about why it says Peugeot? Well, the reason why it says Peugeot is because a long, long time ago, aka the last RC that you guys saw, it was made out of a Peugeot race car, and almost in every single one of my RCs that I haven't used this Peugeot thing in, I've added it. Just as a little tribute to the last one. Mm -hmm. And it keeps going down and down and down to the original Peugeot, which was my favorite Technic set that I had to destroy. Like, to get more good pieces to make actual cool things. Let's talk about that for a second, because there's a lot of people that watch this show um, that have kids that may have their favorite Lego pieces where you didn't want to take apart your favorite models, did you? Yeah, but then they were just sitting there and... You know, they didn't really have any purpose. Was it difficult to take them apart? Yeah, the first one I cried. Uh, and then was it was the result worth it immediately, or did you fail and feel miserable? I failed hundreds of times. <laughs> hundreds of... No. Whoa! Sorry. Oh, shoot! <laughs> sitting, oh. both sitting. Oh. <laughs> like, I just thought we could feel fail together. <laughs> but we saved the day. <laughs> anyway, hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. Yeah. <laughs> you failed, but eventually... Um, but eventually, I got to a design that you guys saw, and I was very, very proud of it. So I thought, hey, how about we can just share this design on the internet? But then I kind of realized after time and time again that it sucked. It, it didn't work. 
quite a lot of it was breaking all the time and so and it was it just didn't look good like it had holes all throughout it which i didn't like this is all nicely filled in mm -hmm. and i didn't need doors because a uh, truck mm -hmm. <laughs> no no mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. racing vehicle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you've got the bars all the way around. Mm -hmm. Safety cage. Yep. I also see that you've got seats large enough for pretty large people to sit in there. Like, it's not your standard yeah. Lego seat. Oh, yeah. It was custom made by me. Incredible. So it's pretty difficult. And if I open up the back here, if I can. I can open up the back. Uh, Take your time. Oh, yeah. I like this. This is how the wheels fit on. This is how he's actually put yeah, these on. You can't really take them off, which is nice. Aha. This is where we get to see the engine. Aha. Interesting. Yep. See if I can sneak the camera in there. You have to take that off. Aha. <gasps> You've got two motors, dude. Two motors that are connected to one, if this thing is still on. Yeah, it yep. is. I'll lift it. I'll lift it and then. The two motors go on, which leads into a singular axle, Yep. which leads into this gear right in here, which leads into the unlock differential. Incredible. It is incredible. I'm a gushing father, but I got to tell you, this is, do you want to test it out for people to see? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Start, and then yep. you go ahead and whatever spacing you think is right. So you need that much. Cool. That might be kind of tight, but let's see how it goes. Wait, so are you telling me on your radio you can actually run this in rear two-wheel drive? Yes, I can. Or or, or front-wheel drive? Yeah, well, it definitely or has a both, wear on the motor. all-wheel drive. So if I press this button, yeah. um, I can basically kind of unbind the two wheels together. So if I press these buttons... No way. Independent front and rear, yeah. forward and backwards. if I press this button then they both go. But then these two buttons are deactivated. Did I show you this? No, actually, I just had to kind of figure it out. You're incredible. Amazing what Lego can do. Okay. Oh, I see the chicken has left you a great <laughs> present. Good luck with that. Wow, that was really close. Almost a penalty. Oh, nice, you cleared it. Seriously? Yeah, I think so. Uh, penalty! Uh. <laughs> I'm so close! That's alright. Can we do a speed run? Show me what it does for speed. Sh okay. So, right here, we yeah. have to go max speed. So it's not the fastest thing in the world. But torque. Torque is definitely a good thing in this. Plus you're also carrying a heavy tire on the back. Yeah, it is actually decently heavy. And plus, it has to carry around itself too, which is a couple pounds. So if it didn't have this, it would definitely go a lot faster. Like and this is this isn't running on a lipo system either, is it? Nope. No, this is just one of those boxes where you plug in USB, and it just runs, I think, four uh, small double A's on the inside. What about the sand? Can it go on the sand? Oh yeah, there's some sand right over there. We can uh, try. Oh yeah. Oh, here's, 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 here's. Wherever you like. Show me wherever you would like to take it, because this is you showcasing what you got. Well, let's go over here then, because this is a nice rocky and sandy mix. Let's do that. Back up. Nice. The slow mo, you can see the suspension moving. Yeah, quite cool. So, how many motors in total? Is it two motors and one servo? Around three motors and one servo. Three motors? Yeah. Incredible, dude. <laughs> Way to own your part of the hobby, dude. You've definitely carved out your part of the studio here. Thank you. Yeah, man. And there's still more to come because I have two more of these battery boxes. 
Well, I agree with you. And now it's just a matter of trying to figure out new pieces that would be interesting for you to use. Yeah. Um, and who knows, maybe out there in YouTube land, they know of some parts that would be like, hey, you should use a blank, you know? Yeah, well, I do definitely know that I want to stick with the style of kind of uh, truggy, buggy, stuff like that. Can you tell me more? Like, I noticed that it kind of has, see how it sits like this? Is yeah. this, that's, I wouldn't be disappointed with that actually, because sometimes when you're adding uh, a camber like that, cause that's a camber of it the way it is like this, mm -hmm. um, it, it actually adds some stability when you're going quicker. Like if we would have gotten you a quicker motor, when you're cornering, you're getting better results. But this is just because it's plastic, isn't it? Well, actually it's because of the certain wheel wells that I have here. Ah. If I had, or not wheel wells, um, it's because of the way that I hold the wheels. Okay. Um, Explain to us why you did it this way. Well, the reason why I did it this way is because I used to have this other piece that would clip onto these tires and it'd be really sturdy, but it could wear down super easily. I went through a ton of them. Can you take one of these tires off to show us? Oh yeah, give me just one moment. Can I ask while you're doing this, what uh -huh. is your favorite part of Lego? Is it the building? Is it the result? It's the is result, it, easily. It's the result. Awesome. Some people are builders, some people are users. Some people are both. Yeah, I do in enjoy building, but yeah. Look at this. So basically, this tire, the way that it was made, um, you can see they ha these have little holes on the side where yep. the other piece that wears down a lot would connect. But then there's also a cross pin, as I say, in the mm -hmm, middle. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there are these little holes on the sides and stuff. But if you angle it just correctly, you can fit these small little pieces through the sides. Yep. These pieces through the insides. And then this bar right through, making it basically unpullable. Like, you can't pull off the tire. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. It, like, like naturally, if you're driving, it, it can't be pulled off. I understand. Now, talk to us about the piece that used to wear out. Now, a piece that used to wear out was a piece that actually clipped into these small little holes. Mm -hmm. And it was like really, really small, like way smaller than this. Mm -hmm. But basically, after a while, the piece would start to wear down, especially at high speeds or even going over something like this. Sand. Yeah. Grinding. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But so far, I've tried these crane pieces, and these are meant to be very durable, so they can't fall off if the crane is holding something heavy. And that also means that they can't really be weared down pretty easily. Which is really, really good, and that's why I thought, hey, how about I can just use this piece instead of having to um, deal with these older pieces. One that last request. Yeah? Now that you've just taken this apart, will you please flip the car upside down and show people what's underneath? Look at this. So your differential gears are enclosed but your ring and your pinion is open so you've okay. got to be careful but you put on these long slider bars not only for support for your frame but also to help keep that protected and I mm -hmm. think this is actually a genius part of what you've done so all together your motors yeah is this where's the third motor you said three motors well, one mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. and then three and then the oh motor. there is right there oh my one, god one two three Motors so and this is turbo. independent motor powering these. Yep. And this is two motors powering that. Three motors. This made it 100% worth sticking to the end, sir. <laughs> Thank you for that revealing piece of information. And then you just stick the tire. Oh, shoot. Well, that's very normal, son. So with my RC cars, there's been two main enemies that I can that really get on my nerves. So it is sand. And then all the way down there, there's a gravel road. Sand and gravel have been the two main enemies of me. Why? RC building. Is it a torque thing or what? It's a torque thing and also because they're so loose. With grass, you can just run over it. It's pretty good. It's, it's basically dirt for most of my machines. Mm -hmm. But with sand and gravel, it's so loose that you can get stuck easily. Mm -hmm. And it also takes quite a lot of torque because with these tires, it tries to push those rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But okay. I haven't tried this on gravel yet. So that's actually driving up a hill right now. Driving four motor or three motors in that servo. Hi Emmett. Is this 
smooth road. So sand to grass to asphalt to his nemesis. Beauty! Freaking Lego, dudes! Incredible! That's what hard work, determination, and passion does for you, there, buddy. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! That's my boy. Yeah, mama! <laughs> Hi, mama! Proud of you, boy. Well done. Proud of you, boy. <laughs> I think the entire community is proud of you. Ever hungry axle. It was a small one, but still. Hungry, hungry axles. What's a hungry axle? Hungry axle is when the uh, grass that you're rolling over, if it's dead, it gets caught inside your axle that moves your tires. Nom, 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 nom. I'm surprised that this RC lasted this long. With the last machine that I made, it had four motors and it only ran for five minutes. Why, did it run out of battery? Yeah, super quickly, because there's a small battery box in it. Yeah, and nobody really considers how heavy a body is, and so what you've done is you've made it smaller, more compact, and lighter weight than the traditional bodies you would have used. Yeah, and I even was able to add a roof this time, so now if there's any mud or rain, the people inside are okay. Freaking awesome, dude. Even though it's being controlled by ghosts. <laughs>